Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today we're here at 3O Studios talking about my new favorite lens, the Sony 85 1.8. We have Bill behind the camera, who's never really been behind the camera before, and he's not just standing behind the camera, he's operating the camera. So if this video sucks, it's not my fault. It's that guy behind the camera's fault that calls himself a photographer. Actually, he's a photographer. He hardly ever does video. But he's pretty good in front of the camera. So the Sony, this. Every you're <laughs> the Sony 85 1.8 is probably my new favorite lens. I reached out to B&H um, and asked them if they'd send it out for a month, and they did. So we've been testing it out. And I have absolutely fallen in love with this lens, not just for video, but also for photography. So I'm going to go over a couple things that are pretty amazing about this lens. One of the first things is it's only $600. $600 for an 85 1.8. Um, and I've got a whole list of fun and exciting facts to talk about. Now, I really, really like it for weddings, um, both for photography and video. One, the way it compresses the background. Um, another is that it has, with the low aperture of 1.8, super fast. So even in low light, I'm still gonna get a nice, clean shot. And I really feel like 85 is a perfect focal length for shooting people at a wedding or headshots or portraitures. It's not too close, but it's not too far away. And again, like I said, it gives you that compressed background, which I really, really like. Um, it is very lightweight. One thing I really don't like about the lens is that it has a minimal focusing distance of 2.6 feet. The problem with that is if I'm at a wedding and I'm taking pictures or shooting video and I want to get a nice clean shot real close up of the ring macro, um, this really won't let me get close enough to get that shot that I want. I have to switch over to like a 24 to 105 or my 28 to 75. Um, but it, as far as the 85 is concerned, I just can't get close enough. So that's one of my probably biggest drawbacks. This thing focuses super quick. It's super sharp. Um, one of the things that you do need to be very aware of when shooting, and this actually happened at a, at a recent, when I was shooting headshots, thankfully I, had, I took multiple headshots, but the focal point, if you're sitting at 1.8, between 1.8 and uh, 4, F4, if you don't hit that focal point exactly where you want it, you may have halfway up the nose in focus and then you hit their eyes for a headshot and you're like, oh my gosh, the eyes are in focus but they're not tack sharp. Right here on the nose is tack sharp. So you need to be very aware of where your focal links are and where your focus, I guess not really focal links, but your focal point. So to make sure that it's actually focused where it needs to be. But this thing is super tack sharp. It's super quick on the focus. Now, another thing that I have noticed when shooting video, if you're too close to a subject but not within that 2.6 feet, um, it will jump sometimes. So it won't be that nice, smooth focus where you go from one focus plane to another focus plane. It will just jump way too fast. And it's very apparent when you're shooting like a wedding video and you're jumping from, let's say, the bride to the groom and they're doing like uh, first time he sees her in her dress, let's say. And so you need to make sure that you're very aware that sometimes it can jump from the bride to the groom really quickly and that does not look very good, it looks very jarring. So there are times that it's a little frustrating that I don't have that nice, smooth bride to the groom, super nice, slow and smooth. Um, but I did notice that that happens more, the closer I am to the subject, the further away I can get from the subject, the better it will actually jump between the two focal planes. Um, so again, at $600, I think this lens is amazing. I don't plan on returning it to B&H, I'm actually gonna go on and purchase it um, because this, in the month that I've had it, I've used it probably for 60 to 70% of all of my photo shoots and video shoots because it just works so well and it is so sharp. And far as the focusing goes, again, it does jump a little bit sometimes, but the focusing still, it's, it does a good job of once it, it attaches to a subject, it holds to that subject um, until I change the focal point. So I really, really like that. So in my opinion, this 85 1.8 is probably the best lens I've used yet here on my Sony a7R 3 I'm sure we'll be making more videos down the line. I am going to pop up some of the footage of some of the things I've been talking about far as video-wise at weddings. I'm also going to pop up some pictures that we shot of Corey today and some other pictures I've done portrait-wise and headshot-wise over the last month so you can see how sharp these pictures are. They are super tack sharp, and I absolutely love that about this lens. Anyways, guys, thanks for stopping in, and we'll catch you next time. You guys have made it this far. If you want to check out our newest video, it will be right here. If you want to check out the product, it will be down here. If you do happen to click on it and purchase it, it does give us a little bit of commission, and that helps me a lot keep making these videos. And of course, guys, right down below, go on and leave a comment. Hit that subscribe button. Follow along. We'll catch you next time.